this need for Africans to take their place in telling their stories themselves. This is so there's no distortion. That's the view of the designer of the horticultural collection, Imani Ayisi. He's worried by how things are done on Africa without Africans' involvement. Cameroonian designer was talking while showcasing African fabrics in a catwalk collection in Paris during the Paris Horticulture Fashion Week. This yellow dress with flower ornaments is made of dyed obon bark fabric, a material from Cameroon. It's one of the many designs of Haute Couture collection up for show at his debut appearance at the Paris Haute Couture Week. This coat, made of dyed raffia fabric, is also from Cameroon. It's the first time a designer from Sub-Saharan Africa will be joining the Paris Fashion Week, and it's a source of pride for the Cameroonian designer, Imani Ayesi. I have been fighting for more than 28 years. I dedicated all my life to my work, and the time has come for something to happen to me, for the French Federation of Aote Couture to give me a place open the door to me. Materials for the designs are sourced from different parts of the continent, including Burkina Faso, Ghana, and others. The home is to Raffia, the home is to African music, the home is to Paris. All this is filled with great pride and a great love for what he could cultivate. He relayed this to us, and there was such an incredible emotion. But there's a history to Ayisi's creativity which dates back to his childhood days when he made dresses for his mother, a one-time winner of the Miss Cameroon beauty pageant in the 1960s. I started designing very early. I would do little drawings on the floor and then I would steal the dresses of my mom, which I would cut up. I was punished for this and then much later when she saw that I had something, she ended up turning over these clothes to me to give them a second life. IEC considers his efforts as vital in changing negative narratives about the African continent. For a very long time, people have done a lot of work, a lot of good things, and with a lot of inspiration. Everyone is inspired by Africa. Everyone talks about Africa. Everyone loves Africa. But also sometimes everyone speaks of Africa. And sometimes when they want to do something on Africa, sometimes it's done without Africans. Sometimes I think it's a shame. What he has shown with fabrics that are deeply rooted in African textile heritage, which is so rich and so deep, with materials like raffia, with some wonderful raffia skirts and coats. So with this textile heritage and his own creativity, his own view, he has breathed new life into it, which is very much welcomed. The 51-year-old designer is happy with his decision to source many of the fabrics directly from workshops in West Africa. That way, he provides jobs for local artisans.